and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my first, yes, yes, my first semi sort of kind of nail tutorial. And I say that because it's a really quick nail tutorial. The main purpose of this particular video is to show you how I use the UV gel from um, tmart.com as well as some of the uh, goodies, uh, nail art goodies from tmart.com. So yeah, I was going to do the nail art design that I was wearing in my tmart.com nail art haul video, the one with the crosses and the rosaries, but I figured uh, that was a little bit deep and dark and this is supposed to be a joyous time and I'm trying to get myself in that uh, Christmas spirit because I've been a bit of a Scrooge lately so yeah I figured let me do something easy for a lot of you girls who are like need something festive but fast a lot of my girls who are not nail art savvy and something that was just quick simple and cute to put on just like that so um, yeah so I decided to do this candy cane nail art look here and I don't know, I had like an actual candy cane. Oh, here it is. This is the actual candy cane that inspired my nail art. Yep, and I did not show you guys how I did it on my particular nails, um, but I did do it on a nail finger dummy here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. And the technique that I used was a little bit different. On the nail dummy, I used the UV gel to set the glitters um, that is up under the design. But on my actual fingers, I just used nail polish. Um, so basically, I used the same glitters, but to set it, I just used uh, lots of layering of nail polish. Um, so yeah, that just gives you an option. You don't have to use the UV gel if you don't want to if you don't have a UV gel lamp or you know stuff like that or the money to get one then using the clear nail, nail polish technique is um, also an awesome way to achieve the look but keep in mind that with the clear nail polish technique you will have um, uh, it won't be as smooth as the gel technique but yeah so if you guys want to see how to create um, these festive candy cane nails and how I use the UV gel from tmart.com then please stay tuned. Okay so first you want to start off with a clean um, dry fingernail. Gel will not adhere properly if your um, nails are wet. Um, so you want to make sure they're dry and buffed. You don't want a smooth surface because it won't adhere good with a smooth surface either. So dry and buff your nails. So take a nail file or a nail drill, whichever you have, and buff out your nails. Then we're going to go in with this UV gel from um, by Lena, and I got mine from tmart.com. This is in clear. Looks like that. And with a synthetic brush, you can use a UV gel brush or what I'm using is a synthetic um, br eyeliner brush from e.l.f. because for some reason I can't find my UV gel brush, but this works just the same. You just need a synthetic brush. You're gonna apply a very thin layer of UV gel to the entire nail. UV gel works great with um, artificial nails with acrylic overlay or gel overlay or even um, your own actual nails. It lasts a whole lot longer and looks a whole lot better. Now I'm using the stream method to build the nail. I don't like my nails thick. I like them fairly natural looking, but I also like to give it just a little bit more oomph for strength because I do work in a field where my nail, my hands are constantly being washed and I'm constantly doing something with my hands. So with the string method, I am not too good at it. I'm still practicing on it. It's a method that has to be practiced. Um, once you have the gel, build it up, build it up, built to the desired thickness, you're going to go in with the UV lamp and set it for about three minutes. Now I didn't show you that part. I don't know why. I lost the clip. Something happened. Once it's done, you're going to take alcohol or a uh, fingernail polish remover, whichever your choice, and a cotton ball to remove the sticky excess that's left. Excess. Excess, I said it right. That's left on the nail. Then take your nail file and buff out the edges around the nail. 
you should have a smooth, nice, shiny finish. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I use UV gel. So now I'm gonna go in quickly and show you guys the nail design. With the nail design, we're gonna apply a thin layer of UV gel on the base of the nail. Now taking uh, this Maylar, I got mine from tmart.com, but you can get this um, crystal ice colored white Maylar from um, any nail supply store. Sally's supply store, um, Sally's supply store, Sally Beauty Supply has um, this type of Maylar there too. Um, you're just gonna take it and place the Maylar randomly all over the nail. I know you can't see it and I apologize guys for the um, clarity of this video, I am just, Trying to, I just started doing the nail videos and I haven't found quite found my sweet spot on how to get the pictures to be like my makeup videos. But as soon as I get that, the video quality will improve. So please bear with me, guys. Once you place the Maylar everywhere you want it on the nail, you're not going to go in with this um, glitter. I got this glitter from a Martha Stewart glitter set from Hobby Lobby. This is just clear iridescent white glitter and it's circles it's a chunky glitter that's in circles I'm also gonna place that all over the nail now going in with this really fine powdery fine glitter this glitter is from tmart.com it's an iridescent white glitter I'm gonna place that in the spaces where I where none of the Maylar or the chunky um, glitter is at this is just gonna add extra sparkle and pop the whole purpose of this particular glitter look is to make the design look like actual candy. I wanted that crushed candy look. It looks so nice in person guys, trust me. So that should be the finished product. Now we're going to go back into the UV gel and doing the string method again, we're going to apply a coat over the nails. This will not only set the glitter, but it will also... Um, make like a clear glassy shell over the glitter it makes it look very 3d it is so cool, super cool like i said guys i'm just learning the whole string method if you're not used to the string method then just um set your glitter once you place it on the for three minutes under the uv light then go in and just apply a, another thin layer by brushing it on of uv gel and then set it again on a thin light <clears throat> This string method just makes sure that there is no uneven spots on the nail. It evenly coats the whole nail and builds it at the same time. Now you're going to set this nail art under the UV light for another three minutes. Now it's time for the actual candy cane design. Taking this art, uh, LA Colors art, nail art polish in the color green it's just simply called green I'm gonna make stripes on the nail I'm gonna make two thin stripes on the nail what I love about the whole UV design method is that once you apply a UV top coat if you destroy your nail art if your nail art gets messed up you can easily wipe it off with nail polish remover and not mess up any design up under the UV gel UV gel now I'm taking another nail, uh, LA Colors uh, Art Deco nail art polish in the color Glitter Red. And you can get these nail art um, paints from uh, the Dollar Tree because that's where I got mine from. I'm going to make real, two really thick um, stripes on either side of the two green stripes. And you should have something like that. Okay, so I applied more coats just to make the colors more opaque, but that is pretty much what I got. Kind of looks like a candy cane, right? I promise you guys in person with this glitter technique, it looks so nice. I've gotten a lot of compliments on my candy cane nails because it really does look like candy under me. Now you can also do this technique using fingernail polish. You don't have to use UV gel or um, loose glitter. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make the little leaf and berries to complete the design. Taking the same green polish, I'm going to create just little oval-like um, leaves. 
at the top of my nail and I kind of get out of frame. I'm still learning how to position the nail and how to set up everything as far as doing these nail tutorials. This was a really good uh, like trial and error video for me. So now I know what to do and what not to do when making nail tutorials. So now I can make more for you guys. And I do have a New Year's Eve nail look coming up for you guys as well. So there, there's the two leaves. Now taking these gems, I forgot what size gems these are, but they're bigger than the, uh, the normal size gems that you would use for your nails. I got these from tmart.com as well. I could not get that thing open. <laughs> okay, so now um, I'm going to take two red gems or rhinestones, whatever you want to call them. And place them at the tops of the leaves that we created. I know this video is like really long, but in the future they won't be this long. <laughs> this really was a very quick design. And there you go. That is the finished look of the Candy Cane Nails. Like I said before guys, you don't have to use the uh, UV gel method. You can just use regular glitter fingernail polish to create the same look. Now I'm taking my um, Sally Hansen Mega Shine um, Clear fingernail polish to gloss up the look and set everything in place. I love this nail polish because it sets in 60 seconds. And there you go. Sorry the quality is pretty poor in this video but as I get to do more of them I will improve. Alrighty thank you guys again so much for watching. Stay tuned for more nail art and more videos from my channel. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.